Can you solve this tricky geometry question asked in a job interview? We are given a circle like this. Inside this circle, a blue square is placed in such a way that all four corners of the square touch the circle like this. And another yellow square is placed on top of the blue square such that one side of the yellow square lies on the blue square and its other two corners touch the circle like this. And the question is to find the ratio of the area of the large square to the area of the small square. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it. And when you are ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. All right, let us solve it together. But before we begin, let us mark the center of this circle and define the radius of the circle as r. Now let us focus on this large blue square. Since it is inscribed in a circle, we will draw a diameter of the circle like this, connecting two opposite corners of the square. This diameter will be twice the radius of the circle. Now look at this triangle. These two sides of the square and the diameter of the circle together form an isosceles right-angled triangle. That means the side length of the large square will be two times the radius divided by the square root of two, which simplifies to the radius multiplied by the square root of two. Now let us turn our attention to this yellow square. To figure out its side length, we will do some helpful construction. First, let's draw a radius from the center of the circle to one of the corners of the small square like this. Next, drop a perpendicular from the center of the circle straight down to the base of the small square like this. According to the chord perpendicular theorem, this perpendicular line will bisect the bottom side of the small square, right? Let us call the side length of this yellow square as s. Since the bottom side is bisected, this length will be half of s, or s divided by 2. And this vertical segment will be s plus half of the large square side length, which is the r times the square root of 2 divided by 2. Now focus on this right-angled triangle formed between this half side of small square, perpendicular line, and the radius of the circle. One leg of this triangle is s divided by 2. Other leg is s plus r times the square root of 2 divided by 2 and hypotenuse, as radius r. Now using the Pythagorean theorem we get the quantity s divided by 2 squared plus the quantity s plus the r times the square root of 2 divided by 2 squared is equal to r squared. Since the radius is just a constant, we can treat this as a quadratic equation in s. So simplifying this in terms of s squared, we get s squared multiplied by 5 over 4 plus s multiplied by the r times the square root of 2 minus the r squared divided by 2 equals zero. Now multiplying by four to eliminate the fraction, we get five times s squared plus s multiplied by four times r times the square root of two minus two times the r squared equals zero. Now with a little algebra, we can factor this quadratic expression as the quantity five times s minus r times the square root of two multiplied by the quantity s plus r times the square root of two equals zero. This factored form gives us two possible solutions for s. The first value is r times the square root of 2 divided by 5. The second value is negative r times the square root of 2. But since length cannot be negative, we can ignore this second value. So we have s is equal to the r times the square root of 2 divided by 5. Now let us go back and compare the side lengths of each square. The side length of this large square is the radius times the square root of 2. And side length of this small square is the radius times the square root of 2 divided by 5. So the ratio of their side lengths is 5 to 1. And since area is proportional to the square of the side length, the area of this large square is 5 squared, or 25 times the area of this small square. And that is our final answer. Pretty amazing, right? But wait, before you go, I have quick bonus challenge for you. Can you find the ratio of the diagonal of this large square to the diagonal of the small square? Think it through and drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see who can figure it out. If you found this explanation helpful and learned something new, do not forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more mind-bending math puzzles. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.